If you heavily use OpenAI to REST APIs and are wondering about its throttling, its cost, then you should look at some of the open source alternative. Local AI is such an OpenAI alternative which is open source and free. Local AI acts as a drop-in replacement REST API that's compatible with OpenAI API specification for local inferencing. So if you have already built your application based on OpenAI's API specification, then the good thing is that you don't have to change your application much and you can use this local AI as a drop-in replacement. It enables you to run large language models, generate images, audio, and not only locally or on-prem with consumer-grade hardware, supporting multiple model families and architectures. You can run it on CPU, GPU of different kinds. You are not confined to NVIDIA. You can run it on AMD's GPUs, Intel GPUs, and even few of the others. Local AI is available as a container image and binary. So if you want to run it on your server, you would need Docker. It is also compatible with various container engines like um, Docker as I already mentioned, but it is also compatible with Podman and Kubernetes. So you can run it as a deployment in your Kubernetes cluster so that you will have a lot of Kubernetes benefits. Container images are also published on key.io and also on Docker Hub. You can also go to this GitHub page of um, this local AI and download the binaries. I will drop the link to this GitHub repo in video's description. Now let's start and see how it works. You can use it on Mac, Windows and Linux and make sure that you already have Docker installed on your local system. And it will be good idea to also install uh, this on the, the Podman on your system because you might need it later on. So let me first check if I have Docker installed. So let me first log into my system and then I'll show you. So for the purpose of this demo, I am using Ubuntu 22.04 as you can see. And I have one NVIDIA GPU of around 20 GB VRAM, but you can run it on CPU or any other GPU, uh, doesn't matter. And my memory is around 32 GB. Let me clear my screen. Let's see, I have Docker installed. I think I do. Yep, so Docker is installed. If you don't have it, I would highly suggest you install it. That is how it works here. Now, let's try to also install Podman. I'm just using apt-get here in order to get installed. It's going to take too long. Let's wait for it to finish. Almost there. That is done. Okay, so you can see that we have now Docker installed and we have Podman installed. Now, as I mentioned that this runs as a Docker images. So you would need to have Docker installed, which we already have done. And the beauty of local AI is that it comes with all-in-one images or AIO images. These images are pre-configured with a set of models and backends to fully leverage almost all the local AI feature set. So you don't have to install a lot of pip packages and you don't have to download weight separately. All the configuration you don't have to worry about. They just provide you the images and you download them and I will totally show you how. And as I mentioned earlier, these images are available for both CPU and GPU environment and they don't require any configuration, which is really good. Now, the way you run it is simple Docker command. But before that, as I mentioned earlier, you can run it on CPU and different GPUs. If you have a GPU, you first need to make sure you know your CUDA version because for CUDA 11, the command is different and for uh, CUDA 12, it is different. So first check your CUDA version by doing nvcc dash dash version. So you can see that my CUDA version is 12. So I would need the 12 command. And in order to run uh, my Docker version with this one, let me uh, give you the command. So as you can see here in this one, I'm just simply running the Docker command with I'm mapping the ports, I'm specifying GPUs all. And because my CUDA version is 12, so I am specifying the CUDA. And as a test model, I am using Pi model. Phi 2 is a transformer with 2.7 billion parameter, 
and it was trained using the same data source as by 1.5 and this model is from microsoft very performant very compact a very fine model okay so now let me press enter here so first time because it's not present on my system so it is loading the image so let's wait for it to load so it is loading everything related to this five model so we don't have to worry about it so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long all the layers have been loaded and you can see that it is now downloading the model and all the files related to the configuration there you go so everything is done and set up and it is telling you that in order to use this model interact with the api in another terminal because this is where it is running you can even run it in background and you just need to use the curl because it's the restful api and it has also given you the command so let me open another terminal and then from there i will in the same server of course or you can uh, even access it remotely so let me open another terminal in ubuntu and then access it and this is my another terminal as you can see on your screen and i'm simply using the curl command and accessing the model with a completion with a content type json and i'm specifying my fire 2 model with simple prompt how are you doing and i have set the temperature 0.1 which is the randomness let's press enter and it has created it the object is chat completion and then here you can simply use it in your application and start using it if i go back to my previous one you will see some of the logging there you go so you can see that it has done something that uh, it has loaded the model because we did the first entrance how good is that now another cool thing with this i wanted to show you is the function calling we know that gpt4 supports function calling if you want to do the function calling with an open source model and that uh, model has to support the function calling by the way so just in this example i'm showing you how you can do it with fire 2 we're not sure whether fire 2 supports it or not but just for the sake of completion we have specified the model with the curl command we have specified the type function and then the function which is i'm calling is the tool auto location fahrenheit and then i have passed it the location and i'm uh, expecting that it is going to return me the weather of that location so this is a weather tool and you can build your own tool or if you have some tool which are supported by the model you can simply call it and it will going to return you the response and there could be the custom functions now this is something which is really good about this tool that it not only supports inference chat completion chat models but also the function calling and i believe for now the function calling is limited to uh, gpt4 but you would need to check at the repo plus there are a lot, lot of other things which it does it's not confined to that text generation you can do text to audio audio to text image generation with stable diffusion and even embedding generation so a lot of good stuff happening with this project it already has received a lot of stars on the github because it is in more than 18,000 now which is quite good so pretty good project i should say pretty easy to run to for local inference and of course if you are building open ai specification application then this is a good option that's it guys i will drop the link to this github repo in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching